Preach and Grass, he offers his assistance to a small shop run by a widowed perfumer, Madame Arnolfi, and her journeyman lover, Druot, and their trains in the arts of scent extraction and preservation by Enflourage. One day, he encounters another irresistible scent that is even more inspiring than the one possessed by his first victim. It is again the scent of a young virgin girl, this one named Laura Rickies, who is the daughter of the town's wealthiest nobleman. Grenwell decides that this time he will seek to preserve the scent physically and not just in his memory. He begins a campaign of killing teenage girls to practice extracting and preserving their overpowering scents. All of his victims are found bludgeoned to death and stripped of their clothing with their hair cut off, but are not otherwise molested. He eventually kills 24 girls in preparation for killing Lore, without ever leaving a trace that would link him to the crimes, the police are baffled and the town becomes hysterical with fear, Lore's father realizes his daughter must be the ultimate goal of the murderer's campaign and secretly escorts her to a place of safety, but Grenwell follows them by following her scent when they stop for the night, he breaks into her bedroom and finally kills her and successfully preserves her scent. Despite his careful attention to detail, the police trace Laura's murder to him, and the hair and clothing of his previous victims are all discovered at his cabin near Grass. He is caught soon afterwards and sentenced to death. However, on the way to his execution in the town square, Grenwell wears a new perfume he has created from his victims, this one of overwhelming power. The scent immediately causes the crowd of spectators to fawn in awe and adoration of him, and although the evidence of his guilt is absolute, the townspeople become so fond of him, so convinced of the innocence he now exudes, that the magistrate reverses the court's verdict and he is freed. Even Laura's father is enthralled by the new scent and asks if he would consider being adopted as his son. Soon the crowd is so overcome with lust and emotion that the entire town participates in a mass orgy of which no one speaks afterwards and which few can clearly remember, the magistrate Ariopens the investigation into the murders and they are eventually attributed to Druot, who is tortured into making a false confession and later hanged without ceremony, afterwards life returns to normal in grass.